Hello and welcome to another video on Quicks Tutorials. Uh, in my previous videos, uh, we saw how to set up basic as parameter simulation for a transmission line and how to define a microstrip transmission line and how to uh, do as parameter for microstrip line in which we learned how to use the data display of uh, Quicks, how to make, uh, uh, how to change the variables into dB scale using inbuilt function and I even just demonstrated the uh, to uh, the uh, line calculation uh, tool from uh, which is readily available in quicks to in order to calculate the impedance or the parameters width and length of a transmission line uh, any type of transmission line so moving on to a little bit advanced topics in this I will uh, talk about the sub circuit creation so what is a sub circuit? So sub circuit is, uh, let's say if you are designing a large uh, circuit, it's a big project in which you are maybe designing the entire transmitter chain or entire receiver uh, chain in which we have uh, various components such as maybe for, for example, if I have a receiver, the first stage is LNA, then we have a mixer and then we have certain bandpass filters or and so on. So in this case, if we want to analyze uh, this kind of a receiver it it makes sense to first break down the uh, project into smaller components and uh, implement each component separately and then combine them together to form the entire receiver or transmitter or any any other rf circuit that you're working on so let's go ahead and check how uh, we can do this in a better way such that we don't fill up the entire schematic and it's easier to analyze and it's easier to debug as well so let's go ahead and create new uh, project. I'll name this as a sub circuit. So that's what I've named and let's save, save the schematic first. I'll call this as sub circuit. Okay. Again, the name doesn't have to be same as the project, but for um, our sake of understanding, I am just naming it as a, a, a sub circuit and let's create some random circuit here uh, doesn't matter what we put maybe we can take the same example as previous I will put a substrate here and a micro strip line okay and uh, let's change the values here to our uh, same as previous example and Tandy. If you haven't watched my previous videos, please go back and watch so that you'll understand what I'm doing here and how to set up this kind of a simulation. Uh, let's go ahead and maybe uh, put a few more sections of microstrip uh, lines so that we have some kind of a network here. It doesn't matter. You can demonstrate this using one microstrip line as well, but just for the sake of uh, understanding and uh, understanding why this is important, why sub circuits are important. So I connected these three uh, different elements of microstrip uh, uh, sections using the wire. And here uh, the length is by default, it's selected as this. So I'll go ahead and change, I'll make it as 3.1, which is 50 ohms. May I'll make this also, I'll keep uh, all of them same. Okay, so now this is my circuit. Now imagine this is a complex circuit, uh, if it's there. And uh, the way we go uh, ahead with the parameter simulation is that usually we uh, go to sources and uh, put two power sources here. We connect them and ground them and use the S parameter uh, simulation here. We use the S, uh, S parameter uh, simulation here. But uh, in this one, we are not going to do that because the main aim of this uh, tutorial is to demonstrate how to create sub circuits, which means that this circuit, this schematic, this entire schematic file is going to be part of some, maybe some other schematic and how to incorporate this circuit in the larger, uh, in the larger, in the larger circuit. Like I talked, maybe if you are designing an entire uh, receiver chain and this uh, simple uh, kind of maybe a filter or some transmission line section uh, some circuit is just a part of that bigger project so in this we will delete uh, the port this uh, power sorry power source and even the uh, simulation engine and i'll just keep this circuit and i will use this uh, port uh, port uh, option 
and I'll define this two ports here. One is input port and another one is output port. So you can see it's placed like this. You just select it and place control R, it will rotate it. And then we just need to connect it. Okay, so it's not aligned. Uh, one way to align it on the grid, usually when you place it, it will be already aligned, but in case it's not aligned, see now it's not aligned on the grid, this placement of this component. So it won't, it won't match uh, by simply dragging it over. One way is to use wire, but I like to do it, uh, right click and uh, select set on grid. You see it moved and it moved on the grid. So grid is the dots which are, which is like the schematic is uh, divided into a fine mesh. It's, uh, it is usually done for uh, placement of components and alignment, which is pretty standard in most of the schematic editors that you may have used like LT Spice or ADS. And I can simply drag this now here. Okay. So, um, I'll drag this out so that we can view it properly. Okay. So now I, instead of uh, applying uh, the power source here, I created ports and I named this as port one P1 by default. And this is P2, which is port two. Uh, and this, so this becomes like a two port network and substrate is defined here. Now let's go ahead and create one more schematic file within the same project. Do we do, we won't start a new project, but let's go to content sub circuit in the schematics you can see sub circuit.sch which contains this kind of a circuit let's go ahead and create a new uh, schematic you can just press here and it will open a new schematic and let's uh, save this i'll save this uh, by clicking on control s or you can click this save icon and in this we will name it as uh, top circuit or top level of the circuit it doesn't matter what we call and click on save okay so here we have created two schematics and you see the, both the schematics are under the same project. The name of the project is, which is active currently is the sub circuit project. Oh, uh, I didn't save this. So I need to save. Okay. Uh, so I just showed it. Uh, I just double clicked and opened the circuit again uh, so that I can show that we have uh, two uh, uh, schematics here and I'll again open them sub circuit dot sch and top circuit. Okay. So currently top circuit is empty and what we are going to do here, we are going to create a symbol, which is, which will just be a block with two ports input and output. And that block will incorporate our sub this circuit. So, uh, I'll go to components and here we go to file components and select the sub circuit block. I'll just place it here. So we have the sub circuit block currently oh, there is nothing here. There's no port one, two, or uh, it doesn't know because nothing is linked to this. We need to link our sub circuit of dot uh, sch file to this block of sub circuit. So you can double click on it and it asks file name of a quick schematic file, which you want to uh, put in this sub circuit. So let's go to browse and it will automatically open the same folder where your project is stored. And we know our circuit is in sub circuit. So I'll click on open apply okay as soon as i clicked uh, save and uh, i as soon as i uh, clicked apply now you see our sub circuit has two uh, ports were labeled as one and two and uh, we can even name it as something else you can, if you want to name it as maybe if it's a filter or a mixer and you have now you, you imagine how uh, this works so you can have different uh, schematic files for different uh, circuits uh, different file for different schematic for lna different for mixer different for filters and then you create this block diagrams in one final top uh, schematic file and you connect them here so i can have multiple sub circuits with my link to multiple schematics and using wire i can connect them and it will behave similarly uh, in similar fashion as uh, that of creating all the circuits in one schematic. But this helps us to debug the circuits easily. So now uh, let's say uh, I let me save this. Okay, I have saved it and let me close this sub circuit dot sch file. Now we are at the top circuit level. Here we can define our parameter simulation and the power source and everything. But but. Let's say if you have created a project and you share that file with someone and uh, all uh, it will appear to him as like this block. Now, if you want to check what is the circuit implemented in this block, let's say I haven't labeled it. So how would you uh, go inside and explore what, what is one way is, you know, like you will double click it and you check which file is incorporated in this block and you find this uh, schematic file and open it. Obviously that's one way, but that is a, uh, a uh, complex way and a complicated way. The easiest way is that here we have two options. 
So you select this uh, sub circuit block and here you can see you have an option to go into the sub circuit and one is like pop out of the sub circuit. Currently we cannot pop out of the sub circuit. It's disabled by default because there is nothing on top of the sub circuit. This is my top level. So let's go inside. Uh, I select this and I click on go into the sub circuit. As soon as I click, you see uh, we uh, the the uh, uh, quick uh, tool automatically opens the subcircuit.sch file because that is what is linked in this uh, in this sub circuit block. And uh, let's say if I am in this sub, uh, let's say I have the sub circuit file open, but I want to see where it is in my huge chain of the entire receiver or transmitter. Then you can go to the sub this sub circuit, and you click on. Uh, uh, currently, it's not enabled. Pop out. I'm not sure why, but uh, okay, it's okay. So we can either pop in, yeah, now it's there and we can pop out. So you select this, you can pop in, pop in or like get into the sub circuit. So you can check what is the circuit being implemented in this uh, two port uh, network block. And you can come out of this. So it will come to the top page, uh, the main uh, top level of the circuit. Uh, let's go ahead and maybe run a simulation for this so that uh, we can cross check it if there is any error or if uh, does this work does this really work sub circuit so let's put to grounds okay and let's put the simulation that we want to do it says parameter and i'll only run this till 6 gigahertz and maybe 100 points Okay, so I'll close the sub circuit so that you see that sub circuit is already here. Now, the, now what happens is this port one, port two is connected to the sub circuits port one and port two, which is nothing but the input and output of this circuit, this microstrip circuit. I'll close this. Okay, and let's run the simulation. You see the simulation ran without any error, and we have top circuit dot DPL, which is my. Uh, uh, the data display menu and here again we know how to do it we just select again we forgot to uh, convert the values into db so i'll just take uh, db s11 for the sake of simplicity i won't plot others because we know how this works and let's rerun the simulation okay i'm in top circuit you click here db s11 apply okay and okay we have the uh, s11 plot for this circuit i will change the limits again you can go back and check my uh, previous video on this so that you understand how to change the limits and how to do this kind of uh, how to set up as parameter simulation and how to set substrate for a microstrip line so yeah you can see as uh, i have uh, let's let me go back into this circuit again and you see i have kept all of the transmission lines as as 50 ohm lines so essentially it's just a 50 ohm line and you can see from our results here that it's pretty well matched for the entire frequency we can even do smith chart and put s11 okay okay and you see the point is at middle so yeah, so it's uh, always okay. It's always at uh, around 50 ohms for the entire uh, range of frequencies till 6 gigahertz. So it's always around 50 ohms. It's always in the middle. So that's it. In this video, you saw how to set up a, a sub circuit in uh, Quicks, and uh, this is helpful. As I said, this is helpful when you are when you are designing a big project or a big circuit diagram and you can create uh, individual blocks for each uh, schematics uh, each circuit and you can put it in a, a main file where you can assign port one and uh, where you can assign the ports and run the simulations so that you get the collective result of all of them when they're combined the entire circuit uh, okay so that's it for this video see you in the next video